So this is Western Supermare's seafront. You can see the uh, big wheel at the end there over my shoulder. It is its busiest time of year right now, but of course it's still fairly early in the morning here. And we're all just congregating outside this building. This was a beachfront Lido, but it closed in 2000. But this morning, it's got a new name, this sign, Dismalland. Put up just a couple of hours ago, and we're about to get a look Sorry. inside. Welcome. Welcome to Dismalland. Hold it, please. Hold it, hold it. This is a secure area. Okay, proceed. Last one here. Hold it there, mate. Hold it there. Have you got any guns, grenades, or unicorns? Persons, animals, squids, dirty underpants. Okay, proceed. Wah, wah, wah. So this is what you see as soon as you come in the door here. I suppose it looks like a theme park that was closed 10 years ago. I mean, look at the fountain here, but this is carefully constructed chaos. Now, Banksy has put out a press release this morning. In it, he's asked, what's the big theme of this theme park? And he says, well, perhaps the big theme is that theme parks should have bigger themes, whatever that means. But anyway, this is one of the new Banksy's. There are 10 new works here, we're told by him. This is called The Castle, and you can go inside. It's fully interactive. There are also, we're told, 50 other works by international artists here too. You've got the traditional fairground stalls here where you can pay this one, you can win some bling. But there's also stuff that's going to prove, I think, pretty controversial. Uh, over here, for example, you can steer your own boats, but the boats, as you can see, are full of migrants. So compared to what's outside, what's in here feels much more familiar, I suppose, at least. It's more of a traditional gallery. There are works by more than 50 other artists, international artists who aren't just Banksy. Uh, it's dominated by just a few, though. This is by Damien Hurst. You can see this beach ball that's elevated by the air coming through the middle, hovering above the blades there, constantly aerial, I suppose. Uh, and down here, you can see what's called the Hiroshima cloud. That's by an artist called Dietrich Wigner, who's actually from the USA. And then at the end of the room, there's three new works by Banksy. 